Okay, this time you're gonna feel a little pressure. We're injecting the contrast material. Hey, could you turn up the music? Sure. Looks pretty good so far. Still can't hear it that well. Can you hear it now? John? John! John, can you hear me? Still no relief? I got relief. Just got no pee. If the pills didn't work, you may need a catheter. He didn't come here to talk to me about my pee. What's going on? He's got cancer, all right. But it's not in his salivary glands. It's in his brain. And it's bad. At least six tumors, maybe more. He lost his hearing. His sight's probably next. Death is probably next. No way he could have grown all these in a week. They can't be older. The VA couldn't have missed all these. Maybe they didn't miss them. Just mixed them up. Switched his films with another patient's by mistake. Maybe. But it means some poor sap's getting his melon sliced at the VA for no reason. And this poor sergeant's gonna be dead by the end of the week. Where have you two been? Lunch. Why? What happened? Wilson's found some fast-growing, elusive, or magic brain tumors. What did you find? Nothing. He's telling the truth. About what? About everything. Where he's lived, who he's dated. Besides forgetting to mention his dad's shin splints, his granddad's nosebleeds, and to return a few rented DVDs, everything he's told us is checked out. You have them researching your dream? Nope. I have them researching my patient. You had a dream about a patient? This poor guy's brain is riddled with tumors, and you're checking his credit report? Come on, I need you guys. Where are you going? To do my job. He's not your patient. He is now. Go home and go to sleep. Maybe he'll dream the cure to late-stage brain cancer. How is he? He's dead. Oh, God. At least he will be in a few days. The question is why? The only explanation is that the VA hospital screwed up. There was definitely no mix-up. I had them recheck. Yes. Why would a government agency lie to cover up a mistake? It might have caused the death of the guy to be trying to kill for the last two years anyway. He didn't lie. Did you just take two Vicodin? No. It was an antidepressant. I was told to take two every time you walked into the room. The VA scan of his brain. No tumors. Yes, this is proof positive that someone didn't have tumors in their brain. You see that bright spot below his left orbit? That is a titanium pin your patient had inserted 20 years ago. Unless you think the VA happened to mix up his scans with someone who had the exact same pin, they didn't screw up. All right, ready whatever you are. I'm ready. Wait a minute. Zoom in. I don't see it. You sure you're at the right coordinates? Yeah, she's in the right place. Go 10 millimeters above the ACPC line on the Z axis. 10 mil above ACPC on Z. It's not there anymore. Are you sure you got the gantry angle right? Yeah, I'm sure. It's not there. It disappeared. Six tumors don't just disappear. Unless they were never there to begin with. The VA didn't screw up. Maybe someone else did. Maybe it was Dr. Self-Righteous. I saw the tumors. There was no mix-up. Maybe there's something wrong with the portable imager in the OR. Something that would cause it to show brain tissue in perfect detail, but completely miss neoplastic tissue? And they were never tumors to begin with. I told you, I oh, saw- Oh, you saw something that looked like tumors. We all did. We're all wrong. Well, maybe he doesn't have cancer. Maybe he has a brain infection that's causing multiple abscesses. That miraculously healed? No, they were healed by the antibiotics we're giving him for the vaginosis in his mouth. If it's an infection, why didn't it show up in his blood work? I don't know. Yet. Dr. Wilson, we have a problem. What did you do? I can't feel my legs. I can't feel my legs. John. What'd you guys do? John, calm down. We didn't even operate. Could this be a residual effect? I can't move my legs! It's not the anesthesia. John! John! 
We're gonna figure out what's wrong with you. But first, we need to know one thing. Have you ever appeared in any pornos? Chronic fatigue, sore throats, rashes, putrid discharge in the mouth, multiple abscesses in the brain, hearing loss, last but not least, lower limb paralysis. You've certainly given us plenty of clues. It's gotta be some sort of infection. It's miraculously improving in his brain, getting worse in his ears and legs. Could be an infection and cancer. Neoplastic syndrome could depress his immune system and cause the other symptoms. Mm -hmm. You're basing this theory on the negative biopsy, the lymph nodes that aren't swollen, or the tumors that were never there to begin with. And what are you gonna base your theory on? His favorite restaurants? I was right. He's excreting depleted uranium in his urine. We should start him on an IV infusion of isotonic sodium bicarbonate. It's not depleted uranium. You're the you one. Who asked for the test when we were thinking cancer? We no longer are. Depleted uranium doesn't just cause cells to mutate, it can cause cell death as well. Not spinal cord cells. At least not until the dose is high enough to kill all his other cells first. So you're saying the radioactive uranium in his urine is irrelevant? <sighs> the sun's radioactive. The earth is radioactive. This hospital is filled with radiation. The issue is not where it is, but how much there is what damage that amount could cause in someone's spinal cord, as I already stated quite clearly. Got it, we're all idiots. What's your theory? Give me your keys. Why? Have you ever tried riding a motorcycle with a distended bladder? Keep him on antibiotics, check his hearing and paralysis every hour. So you basically want us to do nothing? No, I basically want to do nothing. I want you to keep him on antibiotics and check his hearing and paralysis every hour. Wait, you can't go home now. Actually, I have to go home now. It's two days past my bedtime. House, he needs your help. And I need sleep. Hey, it's the brain's way of working out problems that the conscious mind can't solve during the day, remember? <laughs> no, nothing. I'm gonna die. All right. No, we're not. You should start treatment for the uranium toxicity, like you said. But House? Isn't here. If House wanted to be involved in the case, he wanted us to start this treatment, he would have told us to do it the last time you brought it up. You have a better idea? No. Then we'll go on with chases.